Hello everyone, Dictator Shadow here, and welcome to a redstone piston door design. I had to design this door custom because I couldn't find any like it on the internet, so I tried my hand at making my own. This is a cyberpunk style building, originally designed by the YouTuber Craft. The one you see in front of you, I modified slightly to fit a space on my survival world. It is a 3x4 door with blocks in the back and trapdoors up front. And I had to replace the back blocks with redstone blocks to make this work, but I think it still has a pretty cool look to it. And I'm not sure what to call this door. I think I'm just gonna call it a half garage door because of the way it opens. So that's the opening sequence. It's pretty unique and it does kind of look like a garage door and I call it half because it doesn't really open all the way. But you can walk through. There's no slime or honey blocks on the ground to slow you down. And it actually closes pretty dang fast. So I don't know what other scenarios you would want to use this door other than this custom designed building, basically. Uh, so it is a pretty unique door though. Hence why no one, I think, has made a build tutorial on it yet. So the way that it works is I kind of have spaghetti redstone. So if you want to improve on my design, please feel free to leave a link to your video down in the description below if you do decide to improve on this door design. So the way that I made it is there's an input line up here, which is a row of double piston extenders that connect to slime and honey blocks that are touching this big three by four wall of redstone blocks. And so once the redstone blocks reach the top, they trigger this redstone, which triggers this piston, which is actually inverted. Uh, and that will go down here to this row of sticky pistons, and that pulls the trapdoor down into the ground so that you can actually walk through it. So yeah, it is a very unique design. I don't think I've ever seen a redstone door exactly like this. Um, so let's get on with the build tutorial if for some reason you want to build this for yourself. Now getting started with the actual tutorial, a list of all the items needed are in the description if you are building this in survival mode. So to get started, dig a 3x3x2 three by three by block deep hole in the ground, and this will be the front of your door. Now in the back left side, dig down two blocks, one block, and then another block, so you have this kind of weird L shape connected to your square. Now in your square, place down one, two, three sticky pistons with target blocks over them. You can cover up these target blocks right now. And then behind the target blocks, place down three redstone dust with an extra two trailing off to the left here. And above the three redstone dust, place down your obsidian. Now let's build the rear half of the door, starting on these solid blocks here. Place down a three by four area of redstone blocks. And then around the back here, Place down a row of slime and a row of honey, and make sure they alternate depending on which blocks you are using. And now time for the downward facing double piston extender. Head around rear here on the top slime block, place down one, two, three temporary blocks. Place three observers facing towards the front like this. Their actual faces are in the back. Destroy those blocks. Place down three building blocks on top of the observers with three redstone dust on top of there. And then down here, place down a row of two sticky pistons facing downwards. Then on the rear side, on the building blocks, place three pistons facing downwards. This block right here will be your input block, so run a repeater into that block or into this redstone line, or just have your button there. Now that is actually all of the circuitry needed for our double piston extender, so bring the redstone door upwards. And then on the left side here, on the third block up, place a block with a redstone dust on top of it. And then a block like this. And then on the rear side, a redstone torch with a sticky piston on the side of the torch facing downwards. One, two, three, four sticky blocks and a redstone block. Now that is all the actual wiring done for our door. The only thing that's left is to add our trapped doors. So lower the door once again and place all your trapdoors on the top half of the redstone blocks. And our door is now complete. And we can walk right through. There it is, all finished and done. Again, this is a very weird door design uh, that I had to design custom for a building, but if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.